All right, troubleshooting section seven, general, or sorry, section 12, general electric locomotive, uh, dash series seven. Table, tw um, table 12, section 11, proceed with the qualifying locomotive service to check the locomotive engine control panel for the reduced excitation indication light. Um, engine running. Uh, if the locomotive is in reduced excitation mode, open the control compartment of the door with the press of the toggle switch on the MD card to reset. Indicating light will go out with the operation of the reset switch on the MD card. To verify, um, to see to verify that the faulty remains as clear, locomotive will be set for... Um, for the um, monitoring air brake, uh, air brake set with the re set reverse thrown and the GFI on and the EC switch on the run the point position all, all, all isolate like all other units. You move the throttle to handle notch one until the start load. E indication load um, loads is observed the load meter of the locomotive return the throttle handle to idle note whether the indicating light is in now and the light is on is not lit. The fault has been cleared. If the indicating relays re 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 goes in the control part and check all the cards for the proper per, loca per location, ensure that they are surely, securely plugged in the panel. All right, both engine shutdown, engine um, start or run. Um, the two red light, lights on the RG car, the FD740, would show to be on the when 15 volt DC on the negative 15 volt power supplies are functioning. If no change is uh, out of this or on the operating OS card, uh, FD739. Three, move the toggle switch of the MD card, uh, FD734, with the test position. Simulate the fault of the causing panel to reduce the excitation mode to the red light, the LED on the card. The field switch lighting should be also come on and stay late with until the toggle switch is moved to the uh, reset position. As the switch is moved, you will hear the EF relay operate. Both engines shutting down, engine start or run. Check the terminal terminals, the loose connection wires, chair for discolorization, insulation. Replace any damaged wires, hard, hard wire. Hardware tight and any loose connections. Caution, the eight panel mounted panometers are factory sealed and should not be tampered with. Otherwise, equipment may be damaged. Um, shut, and shut down and start. Um, check the cards for the assigned location of the card number to agree with the panel numbers. Engine shut down and engine start or run. Check the RF 10th card and proper one of the model locomotive on the which is installed. X uh, shut down or X start or start and run. All right, the CMR wheel system is trouble. The introduction of the locomotive has a report of the CMR whistle, um, wheel slip system is trouble. The guide with those here for the locating correcting with the problem. The guide consists of the table 12.10 and figure 12.5, figure 12.6, specific trouble proce um, shooting procedure. The table 12.10 um, represent, presents lifting specific problems for the very common of system trouble that is not specific or it cannot be located with the table 12.10, proceeded 12, um, figure 12.5 um, um, with the Figure present for the program to prove the troubleshooting with the problem. Observe the initial conditions and step is in step one. Figure twelve seven. Uh, figure twelve five. For, um, proceed step to step. Isolate the correct problem with the abnormal operation for the horizontal line. Show by the applicable step on the figure seven. Um, tw figure twelve five. With the re re reference to specific troubleshooting procedure for the restoring normal operation. Figure twelve six. Consider for the graphic plot axle, alternator output, frequency axle for the RPM versus the train speed. The current measuring reactors or CMRs used for the Series 7 locomotives are color coded red and or white from the two different vendors. The C um, current measure reactors are mechanically or electrically interchanged and may be mixed on to any locomotive. The customer should not replace the red or white um, current measure reactor with any of the black current measure reactors that may have the in stock. The black CMR current measuring reactors are not electrically interchangeable with the red or white ones. All right, procedure problems with the step one. The problem with the transistor Q1 on the six axle locomotive replay for the FD1154 card located in the in the FL80 CMR wheel slip panel on the four axle locomotive replace the FD1155 uh, card located in the FL84 current measuring re re reactor um, with um, wheel slip panel. We proceed to figures 11, um, figure 7, um, 5, step 2. All right. Um, symptoms: No power on the notch. Um, the RGMG FTRF card effective open the exciter shunt field with worn out with broken exciter brush with governor plug not in the play for the GF the GFA open. Very little power in any of the notches. The FT or TS card defective open the exciter shunt field with a circuit with no single the turbo speed. Less than normal power in most notches. The TS and MSD card defective fuel filter partially clogged with the fuel suction leak. The LCP will be able to blend them. Will bury voltage one magnet missing from the turbo rotor. 
Normal power and current sum notches higher and lower than other notches. The RF and RG card that affects the open the circle, then wire with the cool relay RLA, RLB, RLC, RLD, and RG card failure of these relays to operate properly. Excessive current in, uh, in all notches. OS and CP card defective. Open the OVDR resistor. Open the secondary ACCR. Show it in the VCR. Now feedback the ACR and or VCR. Load control penometer reads toward minimum f field. MP card defective. No very, um, no very low braking current. CP card defective. Open PF5 and PF6 potential meters in adjustment module. Open feed wires to positive end braking penometer. Open field with the wire to EXP AP terminal. Shorten RFC3 with the APC1 capacitor. Open the motor field circuit with the open grid circuit with the CMR. Wrong CP2 contactor sequence. Minimum braking in any handling position. Open the connecting, opening connection, open connection with the negative end of the braking pen and meter braking current in the red zone with the load meter OS and CP card. Effective open the BCCR control winding dynamic braking current. Um, Hunt's BMD card. Effective open the circuit to the L2 reactor insulation panel. And lastly, a dynamic braking works in one direction with the load button, but in movement, in, but not in the other. Reverse are not completely thrown. Um, Perhaps due to leaking airlines or defective magnet valves. Problems with step two: the wheel, wheel slip relay with not picking up the lo 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 look for the grounds or short circuit. If none of the found wheel slip, wheel slip relay located on the, on the constant me um, constant measuring reactor wheel slip panel procedure figure um, figure twelve five step three problems with, with step four. At this point, several possible things could be covered without the trouble, therefore, it's necessary for further term to determine what the fault is unlocated. Return the throttle to idle statement with the reverse handle and play for the alternator, generator, field, and circuit breaker, and the off. Equalize the wheel, slip, and panel input with this constant measurement reactor by jumpering the following terminals together. Open the FL80 panel, the six axle local and jumper terminal to CDEF and GH. On the FL84 power four axle jumper cable terminal, CDEF. Pump up the air brake system and set. Locomotive brakes. Place the GF breaker on, mo on move reverse handle forward reverse or in forward or reverse and advance the throttle with the handle notch one. All right, it's card symbol TC. Uh, card number FD seven three none. Um, the F card symbol FD FD seven thirty three TP and TP one switch output common and pressure out QO output. Card symbol MD FD seven three four TP and TP one uh, and TP one and TP two modular output common. MP FD seven three five TP one TP two power three hundred kilovolt in common negative voltage C note one TS FD seven three six TP one through um, six turbo sensor turbo charge twenty five hundred RPMs common power reference turbo um, covered symbol CP FD seven three five seven TP one three six one reference monitoring alternating current which will be five reference monitoring alternating voltage grid reference braking brake grid current. Field reference braking braking field current modulator bias comparison junction common. Um, the card symbol FL FD 738 TP1 TP2 and TP3 ACCR 600 AB alternating current C note 2 VC um, TP2 VCR BCCR monitoring 1550 volt volt brake at 100 amp volt alternating volt also you know, note the braking current TP3 common. The OS FD 7399, um, the RG FD 740 TP 1 through 5, 15 plus volts of DC regulated supply, negative 15 volts of regulated supply, TP 3 common, TP 4 not used, TP 5 load pot brush arm covering load volt, pot voltage. All right, reference um, card RF, um, TP 1 through 8, not, not 1, that's just 1 through 8, TP 9 power and TP 10 common. Now the horsepower and the alternator for the traction can be calculated as follows. TP1 volts by 424 horsepower horsepower. Note the horsepower in the alternator for the traction can be calculated as TP1 volts by times TP2 volts divided by 708 horsepower. All measurement of the, of the 15 volt DC less than 57 um, FD736 turbo speed card. Um, test point TP1 and TP2 which are AC uh, use 100,000 ohms per volt meter and, or higher. Or your table 1210 CMR wheel slip wheel slip system trouble and still false wheel slip indication with the throttle handle is moving the idle to notch one bad wiring at the CMR wrong motor contact or sleek one slip filled pinion open circuit attraction motor high resistance connection one of the power circle the disconnected motor cable correction loose lows loose joints or connection smoky and other possible clues otherwise start with step four figure on 12 um, set 12 5 
symptom. Continuous wheel slip indication, which um, speed reaches a little over the one mile an hour. Possible cause, dislocated tra- local lock traction motor, check the motor rotation, improper motor connection, check motor connections, wrong gear on one of the more axle, check gearing, wide variation, wheel diameter, check compare wheel diameter, compression bolt not, um, not removed from the traction motor, nose mount, check with the compression bolt, otherwise start at step four, figure 12. Five. Use wheel slip indication above the certain locomotive speeds, usually 50 miles an hour or higher. Over speed detection to set low with the FD 406 card step the four figures 12. Five. Wide variation wheel diameter more than one inch. Compare the wheel diameter. Continuous wheel slip indication during prime member braking but not during motoring. Open brake gr- open braking open braking grid circuit. Locate the grid burned on one of the disconnected cables. Otherwise, begin at step nine and figure 12. Five. Um, brake. Brief wheel slip indication transition tends to be set low to uh, set too low. Or contact or action is slightly low. No abnormal condition provides does not get worse. If it does, step four, figure twelve, five. Brake wheel slip indicating low speed with the dynamic braking, extended range braking. Or contact is not coming in at the same time. This abnormal provides to not give them worse. Does not start with step four, five or five. 12.5. Steady wheel slip indication certain speed with the dynamic braking. Center range can contactors did not operate properly. Check the contactors. Otherwise, start at step 9, figure 12.5. No wheel slip indication with the slips not to exist. Current transformer CT failure with the wheel slip defective. Start with step 1, figure 12.5. Uh, the uh, the FD-406 car located in the FLD-80 panel with the 6-axle locomotive with the FL-84 panel with the 4-axle locomotive with the 5 test points numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 in common. The FD-408 car located in the FL-80 panel with the 6-axle locomotive has 3 test points con- numbered 5, 6 in common. Check voltage p- b- between test points 1, 2, and 3, and 4 and to common the FD-406 card and 5 and 6 commons on the FD-408 card if applicable with a voltmeter. The meter, meter scale should be selected to read DC um, volts between 20 and 34. 20 24 and 30 volts. Volt, four volts vary every 400 amp the load meter in the cab. The maximum difference should be not exceed three volts or 7% variation at the highest to lowest level to proceed with the case number one. No several possible things could cause the trouble of simplifying the troubleshooting the fault situation has been presented in the three these cases, three cases, number one, case number, one, case number two, and case number three. Case number one, if the um, constant measuring relay at wheel slip activates, the wheel slip light and is lit and the sanding, sanding curve this reduction of an excision that's produced the case number two, the kind of unit, constant measuring relay wheel slip does not does activate the problem is localized external portion of the constant measure relay system proceed with the following. All right, start one. Start one. Init, in, um, in, initial end condition. Engine at idle. Reverse handle. Concerned on GF breaker off. The GM wheel slip system operates continuously. Go to procedure A. Um, no CM continuous meal measurement. Re, 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 reactor wheel slip activation. Step two. Jumper level test point. The FDL fifty five four L fifty five card. A common test point. The same card. Wheel slip does not come on. Go to procedure B. Um, wheel slip comes on and the WX wheel slip relay is good. Step three, remove the jumper, go to step four. Step four, pump up the locomotive air brake system. Two, set the brakes. Three, place the breaker on the GF breaker to on. Move the reverse handle to forward or reverse or reverse. Move the throttle handle to notch one. The CMR wheel slip relay system operates. Go to procedure C. No CM continuous measurement relays wheel slip action at activation. Um, Caution to avoid motor damage. Do not hold the motor current longer than one minute. Step 5. Place the test toggle switch on the continuous measurement relay panel to test and hold for more than 5 to 10 seconds. No other response. Go to procedure D. Um, wheel slip flashes continuously standing occurs and load meter drops to the lower level as long as the switch is held and level circuit is good. Or step six, return the throttle handle to the idle center of the reverse handle and place the breaker to off. Apply the temporary jumper to the wheel slip panel with the apply panel terminal board AP to AR on the six axle locomotive, AC to AD on the A and four axle locomotive. Note the jumper nullified with the level of the connection with the slider shunt field circuit rating remains. Three, pump up the air brake system. B, C, set the brakes. Um, B, sorry, B, set the brakes. C, place the GF breaker to the on. Move the D, remove the rate, move the rate, reverse or handle to forward or reverse. E, move the throttle handle to the notch one. F, wait for the load meter to become steady. Caution to avoid the motor damage. Do not hold the motor current longer than one minute. No, um, place the test to go. Um, no reaction of the response. Same as for step five. Go to procedure E. G, play for the test of Google's, um, test the toggle switch and the test over the hold of the 5 to 10 seconds. When the wheel slip light flashes continuously, sanding occurs, load meter drops to lower level, 
but the nah, as low as in step five when the jumper was off. The Q3 and the rate circuit are good, and step six continue to the top of the next page. Step six, um, return the throttle handle to the idle center of the reverse handle at the plate for the breaker or to the off. Remove the temporary jumper applied in step number six. Um, step number seven, a hostile with the locomotive allowed to run in the both forward and reverse. Continuous, manual, meal, continuous measurement that wheel slippage relay operates. Go to procedure F. Note continuous manual, meal measurement wheel relay reactor wheel slip activation. Step eight, set the throttle brakes in advance the, through the handle until the locomotive pulls through the brakes. Continuous measure relay wheel slip uh, operates. Go to procedure G. No continuous measure wheel slip relay activation. Step nine, with the locomotive in idle and at sand, sand sail, go in the dynamic braking. If the locomotive does not have dynamic braking, proceed to step ten. Continuous maintenance measurement wheel slip relay operates. Um, go to procedure H. No continuous measurement wheel slip activation. Um, step 10, will the locomotive's idle and all standstill disconnect the axle alternator wires from the L and M panel stud, 6 axle locomotive, and N and P studs for the 4 axle locomotive. Continue to step 11. Continue the frequency generator such as the M30, MM37, MM26, TM14 test kit. Drag the terminals in play for the axle alternator. Obtain the frequency needed to give the overspeed detection from the graph and figures 12 to 6. Speed varies within the railroad. The continuous measure relay wheel has slipped into some failed to operate operates at a different speed to go to the procedure J. This measurement wheel slip activates at proper speed. Step 12, remove the frequency generator test kit and reconnect the axle alternator. All right, um, figure 12-6, axle alternator output frequency of the axles, RPMs, and train speeds. Return the throttle speed to the handle without inserting without the reverse handle place the GF of breaker down. Move the jumper to the panel, term, um, panel terminal for the repeat steps 1 and 5 of the procedure C. Note the width test point with a given the abnormal reading. 3. Return the throttle to the idle center of the reverse handle to give the G breaker to the off. The use locomotive schematic and the applicable to continuous measurement. We a wheel slip panel schematic to raise the circle to contain the test point within the question to determine which flower of the panel terminal strips are in the same circle as the test point. Check the wiring with a continuous measure relay by removing the wires from the terminal C, D, E, F, and G, and H on the continuous measurement relay panel, 6 axle locomotive, the terminal C, D, and F on the 4 axle locomotive. Using a Simpson 260 millimeter equivalent measure with the resistance between the wire and the corresponding terminal stud with a different resistance, in order to compare with the others, the problem is in the circuit in that circle to replace the wires is fin when finished. Check for an opening shortage with the continuous measurement relay, compare the, um, compare the resistance measurement with the continuous measurement known. Good, and check with the continuous measurement of the terminals for the dirt and conducting conducting material clean terminals if necessary. Check with the loose bolted joints either in the traction motor connection with the motor itself off motor itself or in the company of the bus bar from the cable look for a sign of the heat or smoke and check with the motor contact or sequence operation. Assure all of the t all tips are operating and are in good condition. Also carefully check with the traction motor shunt connection. Check over the open circuit with the traction motor. Check to see if the pinion has come off of the traction motor. Check with the traction motor connection with the sure the motor will rotate proper direction and there are no locked axles. Twelve. Carefully inspect the wheel size if there is difference with greater than one different diameter band the, be, be, between the largest and the smallest wheel. The continuous measurement that we will a slip real I Detect it. Change the wheels if necessary to satisfy the tolerance. Check to ensure that all traction motors have the same gearing. Also, check with the, set, the nose mounting with the traction motors to ensure that they are firmly seated in the rubber mount. Check with the continuous measurement and measurement reactor are effectively shielded on the nearby cable. This end within the case number one. If the fault has not been corrected, proceed to case number two. If the fault has not been corrected, please um, proceed to figure 12 5, step 5. Case number two, um, if the continuous me measurement relay whips wheel slip relay re activates, there is no significant voltage difference between the test point on this car to proceed with the case number three. If there is like a significant voltage difference, the problem is most likely with the current measuring circuit with the transformer on the panel with the voltage comparison circuit of the FD109, FD410 car. Note that the test point given with the abnormal reading then proceed with the following. We return the throttle handle to idle center of the reverse handle in place with the GF breaker to off the move of the jumpers from the panel terminals. Assure all wires on the panel terminal strip of the Firmly fastened. You've the Simpson 260 meter. The equivalent check with the winding continuity with the panel transformer. Especially check transformer in the circuit with the abnormal ring. Move all the cards within the panel visually. Check with the burn damage component. With the especially check with the filter and capacitor of the FD409 car with six axle locomotive. The FD410 car with four axle locomotive. Also check with the plug with the connections and pins on each of the cards to ensure that they are not bent or broken or replaced. Any of the defective cards replaced. All circuit with the cards in the proper slot with them. Ensure that they are secured in prior panel. Uh, this is the end of the case number two. If the fault has not been corrected, to proceed to case number three. If the fault has been corrected, proceed to figure 12, um, 5, step 5. Case number three. 
Like a significant voltage dif difference indicate for the problem is one with the detection of the late in the circuit with the level of the rate with the overspeed perceived with the following. Return the throttle to the handle idle center with the reverse handle gear of the picker off the remove of the jumpers from the panel terminal. Repeat the step two with the figure five. The figure twelve five. The double check of the wheel slip relay with the operating properly. If not, replace the if no faults have been found within this point. Replace the FD eleven fifty five four card six axle one with the FD eleven fifty five card four axle one with the assumed good cards. Proceed figure here twelve five step five. Proceed with the with the Proceed problems with step five. Return the throttle handle to the idle center with the reverse handle. Place the DF breaker to the off. Place the feed FD eleven fifty four card with the six axle one with the FD eleven fifty five card with the four axle one with the assumed the good card. Perform the following. Pump up the air brake system and the shut the locomotive brakes. Place the G-brake or to on move the reverse handles forward. Reverse and advance the throttle hatch in the notch number one. Wait for the load minute to become steady. Caution to avoid traction motor damage. Do not hold the motor current longer than one minute. Place the test total switch on the test panel and hold for ten, 5 to 10 seconds. The wheel slip light indicates the front light from the face flash. Continues to lay standing. The curves load meter drops to the lower level as long as the toggle switch is held. Proceed to figure 12, step 5. 12 figure 12 5 step 6. If there's no response, proceed with the following. Shut down the locomotive completely. Warning, do not proceed unless the locomotive is dead. The voids, the voids potential dangerous voltage, which could cause serious and faulty injury. To check the open circuit ignition with the wiring parent between the panel and current tra transformer, check the diode rectifier bridge FB35B3 uh, B3, BR1, which is located on the side of the panel. Restart the engine, observe the standard railroad procedure precaution. Form initial conditions of step 1, step figure 12, 5, and then return to step 4, return figure 12, 5. Problems with step 6, return the throttle handle to the idle center with the reverse handle and place the GF breaker to off and place the FD1154 card, six axle, locomotive, FD1155 card, four axle, moment of the assume good card, repeat steps 4. 5 and 6 figure 11 figure 12 5 all right, problems with step 7. Return the throttle with the idle center over the reverse hand with the plate for the GF breaker to off. Carefully check the cabling of the reverse for, for the for look for short grounds, loose connections between the cables and bullish bar, bus bars. Check for the contact of the reverse to ensure all the contacts are picking them properly when the reverse are operating. The look, they leave the reverse in position while it's found initially. Pre step 7 in the figure 12, 7, 12, 5. This problem exists. Return to step 4, 12, 5. To locate the problem, if there's no continuous measurement relay system action after repeating step 7, Proceed to step 8, figure 12, 5. Problem step is 8. Um, return the throttle handle to the idle center of the reverse handle to play, play for the GF breaker to off. Carefully check the continuous measurement relay re reactor, either one or more, than the, uh, not given the proper signal of the higher traction motor current. Repeat steps 8, figure 12, 5. If the problem will exist, return to step 4, 12, 12, 5 to locate the trouble. If there is no continuous measurement relay system action after the preceding step 8, proceed to step 9 and figure 12, 5. Problems with step 9, return the throttle handle to the idle center of the reverse handle plate for the GF breaker to off. Carefully check the cable and bus bar for the diamond braking circuit with the traction motor. Look for the grounds and loose bolted connection. Check the extended range braking contactors that are operating properly. Check the open circuit with the braking grids. Either grid of the burned off or cable is burned off. Procedure figure 12, 5, step 10. Problems with step 11. Return the throttle handle the idle center with the reverse handle plate for the GF breaker to off with the use of the 44 pin card extend with the extend of the FD406 card with the panel with the frequency generated test cable still connect with the set frequency the proper value indicated with the figure 126. This is the card pen meter on until the continuous measurement relay wheel slips the activation with a small increase of the frequency above the proper value. But if the wheel slip in the system is not responsive to any of the setting of the pen meter replace for the FD406 card with assumed good card set with the pen meter with on the replacement card as specified in step 3 or 4 above. Disconnect the card extender with the replace the FD406 card as in the panel. Proceed to set figure 12, 5, step 12. Our trouble locomo troubleshooting locomotive system interfaces. Uh, Many of the locomotive system contain come in actual near contact with the other system with the term interface with some of the interface is designed while others are, uh, the result malfunction table below presents normal interfaces that exist on the locomotive. When one system is higher pressure than the other, the high pressure is indicated with a circle circle to circle. Alright, your lube your cooling water lube oil, lube oil cooler interface when engine is running. Um, the cooling or cooling water lube oil, wool lube oil cooler when engine shutting down. The water pump, the lube oil, and cool cooling wa water water pump deserve open tail hole tail tail. The cooling water lube oil cylinder defective low liner sealer sealed pin pressure crack cylinder jacking jack jacket case casting. Lube oil, air, atmospheric air, lube oil cooler observe tell tales. Lube cooling water, atmospheric air radiator, cooling water, atmospheric air 
water tank fill or cap, depending on the water flow. Either the system can be higher pressure of the um, cooling water, the atmospheric air, cap heaters, cooling water, interlockers, um, cooling water, fuel oil, fuel oil, held or fuel oil pressure negative, cooling water, fuel oil, cylinders cracked, cylinder jacket, the fuel oil drawn, cooling water, electrical, governor, little water pressure device, fueling water, engine temperature switch, ETS, cooling water, combustion air and combustion exhaust, cylinder top linear fuel with engine running down, running, cooling water, air, combustion air, combustion exhaust, cylinder top liner seal with engine shut down, the lube oil and the fuel oil cylinder liner walls, lube oil filled water cylinder, cylinder fuel oil drainage. All right, lube oil, atmospheric air, lube oil cooler, observed telltales, lube oil, atmospheric air, turbocharger seal with a good seal air pressure, um, turbocharger, lube oil, compressed air exhaust, uh, turbocharger seal, poor, poor air pressure, lube oil, electrical, the governor, low oil pressure device, um, lube oil, air, combustion air, combustion air exhaust, uh, cylinder piston rings, atmospheric air, electrical, blow failures. Pressure switch, atmospheric air, electrical engine filter pressure switch, uh, atmosphere electrical, electrical contractors, interior control compartment and over temperature sensors, electric atmosphere, electrical, electrical rotating machines, control controls, combustion air and fuel oil cylinder combustion chamber, Atmospheric air and fuel oil fuel tank, atmospheric air and fuel oil drains, um, fuel oil and electrical fuel transfer pump, lube oil, atmospheric air, overspeed derator linkage. All right, that completes this reading of uh, probably the second tape of the introduction troubleshooting GE section 12, series, series 7 series locomotive.